What is good with y'all, man? So today we got some Devontae Smith and Robert Quinn gameplay. And the gameplay is you're going to watch the first one. I know Smitty went off. He did his thing. Uh, the second one, Smitty made, I think he caught a big touchdown, made some big plays for me in the clutch when I needed him. I think Robert Quinn, I know the last game he went off, did his thing. And then throughout the, it's like three games total. Throughout the games, you're going to see Quinn make some plays. But I think the last game is where he really went off, made some sacks. But my overall thoughts on the cards, Devontae Smith is a W. Now, I'm not going to be keeping him because I do not use three receivers for the Eagles thing team. And I'm going to stick with Carmichael and Chris Carter as my starters. But if I did use three receivers, I would go with Devontae Smith as my third guy. Now, that doesn't mean that Carmichael and Chris Carter are better than Devontae Smith because, completely honest with you, it's really all preference who you really want to use. Uh, they're all really good. It doesn't matter. The Eagles thing team is loaded. Use who you want. Robert Quinn, though, I do got to say, uh, not the biggest fan of his card. Personally, I would say he really only had, like, maybe one really good game for me, and then it was another game that was decent. I don't know. I'm definitely not keeping him. Once he gets out of packs, I'm selling him. Hassan Reddick is definitely going back. Him and Reggie White off the edge. Not the biggest fan of the Robert Quinn card. You know, he's got the nice AP discounts, but it's play on the field. Just doesn't really make up for it. Maybe it's because he's a little bit slower. He is a slower DM. I'm not really too sure. Maybe if you run like a 4-6 or a 3-4 defense, move him as more of like an interior lineman, maybe he'd, little, he'd be a little bit better, but I'm not too sure. But we got about three games here. You guys enjoy these. Let me know how you guys are liking the new cars that we got yesterday for Wild Card Tuesday. Walnut Corn 2120. Walnut Corn 2120. I want to get somebody to say Trevor Lawrence. He quit in the first quarter. I want to one shoot. I might have done. I don't. I might have to submit. Don't matter. Oh, I'm scared. Here he goes. Walnut corn. Like, they have an opportunity. If they truly, truly ball out, they can get a starting position on this team. I Douglas. I don't get me wrong. I know he's gonna be a gun, but there's there's no way he can get a starting position. It's not. It's not physically possible for him to get one. I'm sorry. I'm sprinting to Calvin Johnson. Thank you. Troy Vincent said, I'm going to yank this at your hands, little man. Get the hell away from me. You kidding me? What does he look like that, bro? Come on, Mike. Oh, skirt. 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 Oh, my God, Mike. 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 Him to take a sign ready job, and I don't expect somebody to take Carl Michael's job. One, because. I don't think he's going to get the opportunity to, because look at that possession right there. We didn't even fucking throw the ball. Like, <laughs> dog. It's going to be hard for him, so. It's going to be difficult. Robert Quinn got the fucking LCD, bro. Bro, that fucker played like two games for us. You see something. <gasps> what in the, the fuck was that? What is happening here? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, Troy Vincent. You're a loser. Ha, ha, ha. Like, they are out of control. Keith Byers. Come here. Ah! I know he's not with us no more. They gone. Skirt! My... Oh, nice blocks. I just Samalo. I'm seeing a common denominator with you. Not very good at football. Here we'll hate throwing the ball. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. But oh, can we get somebody. We got you. Smitters. Oh my Smitty. Ankle breakers. Ankle breakers. And nobody uses that route either this year. I'm the only person that uses that. It's so good. It's so good. I'm running for my life. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we Come here. Oh, if only I had a little bit more sideline. Wonder how that's working out. Devontae Smith. Okay, Smitty. Smitty got two catches so far. Chris Carter. Him. Damn, I used to be so good at, like, that little spin right there in the RPO making a guy miss. I fell off. I fell off, man. What happened? That's a tell. Are you kidding me? Devontae Smith. Here we go. Smitty. Three catches. So far in his first half, he got himself a tub. Oh, 
A one for four, two yards and a pick. That's what he has to show for with his quarterback with 22 seconds left in the half. He just trying to dive at me? Holy fuck, we got a son. We got a little psychopath on our hands, huh? Those have giant, giant uniforms, that's why I remember him. He's not even making fucking reads, man. He's known that he's completed more passes to Troy Vincent than people on his team. Kyle Pitts. And we get ball to have. It's about to get nasty, man. It's about to get a little nasty. <laughs> they kicked it right out of bounds. Why are we staying in this game, man? I'm trying to get to some seeds. I... Sometimes Discord don't be giving me notifications. Like, I don't be seeing them shits. Especially when I'm live. If I'm live, that shit don't give me none. Even sometimes when I don't be, they just don't give me notifications. Somebody... Just gotta... Finally, bro, kick that pussy out of the game. I own not a single beat. And I mean, beat, every you know, beat you know I that, don't own. Do you know that the last song when it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. We're going to remake that. We're going to remake that and make it our own and, and make money how? on it and make this how, 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 how? thing. I'm even, you know, out of everybody in there, it's me and it's Mike Sherm. Mike Sherm is not above me. I, I, I make my own. <clears throat> uh, you know, asshole, nah, you know, I don't. Asshole. I don't have Hiram Master. I don't have Hiram Master. Out of here. Yeah. I'll spill alcohol everywhere. You're an alcoholic. We know. Actually, insane. Insane. That is actually outrageous. I ain't gonna. Care. Not, not, everybody's, bu though, not everybody's built for this life. Not everybody's built for this life. Not everybody's been. My mama, that's some bullshit. You don't ever, you don't ever give me a cheat sheet. You tell me how the fuck I do. You tell me how the fuck I do shit. I don't play that shit. If I'm a running back, I'm gonna learn how to run through the A gap. I'm gonna learn how to run through the B gap. I'm gonna do it efficiently. I'm gonna do that shit right. You what if somebody says? What, what if somebody says, "Hey, I'll just pull in front of you though, so you don't gotta even hit the gap." I don't give a fuck. You better hit that shit. You better fucking run with the fucking gut you have. You better run with spirit. You better run with this. Shit. What? Has spirit. You better block for me like a fucking real linebacker. If you don't, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to beat your ass on the sideline. You better learn that shit. He's drunk. He is drunk. I told he's the coach drunk. he didn't know how to fucking coach. He's a dumbass. You better learn to fuck for me. So what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? He started him next week. You better learn he what started the fuck going on. I don't even believe that. He started you after you he said, said that? that? He after you said that to him, I would have cut you. You can't. You can't. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm like fucking it's a tax, uh, Russell it's a tax. Wilson. You got to pay a big contract to to suck dick. That's nah, not why. Yeah, that's, that's not even why I got signed. Nah, I was the best player on the team. I was the coach. I was like LeBron James. You were the coach? Oh my god! Is nah, that Robert Quinn? Quinny? Did Quinny get a sack? Fucking Robert Quinn is here. You know what my GPA was when I played football, right? Yeah, it was eight point eight. No, no, no. That was the last year. Okay. When I when I started and when I really gave a fuck when I was a quarterback, I had a four point two. Oh my! I was very smart. I just stopped giving a fuck because people people wanted to to lower my scholarships on purpose because they were fucked up. They were fucked. They up wanted people. to lower your scholarships. What do you mean? That doesn't make sense. When you have well, more though, let me you... explain it. Let me explain it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, sorry. I was I was starting running back in the beginning of the year. The best running back on the team by far wasn't even a question. I was I was literally better than Joe Mixon only because, and I'll say this, and this is real life shit, because I trained all fucking year long. I didn't stop. I did it all year long. I worked on my jumps. I worked on shit that I was bad at. I said, fuck it. I'm going to go on a run every day. So we went on a five-mile run every fucking day. I fucking went out there and played my heart out. I did everything that I could to, to do my real shit. I didn't give a fuck. I would, I would train for about 12 hours a day at one point. It was just insane. It was just insane routine, insane workouts. 
I would fucking, dude, I would. Everybody's ass, everybody's, everybody's asking, uh, did you just say you were better than Joe Mix? That's everybody's like, yeah, it's I'm better than him. I will not give a fuck that I said that. I will, I will tell him straight to his face. He will admit that shit. He knows when the fuck I play. I was the smallest running back in the fucking class. In the fucking All American class, I was the smallest fucking guy. And guess what? I did that shit myself. I put my fucking head to that shit. I didn't give a fuck what no one said because I'm a small running back. And guess what? I fucking did that shit. I fucking did it, and I outdid him and Nigel. I don't give a fuck what people say. And we all run the ball similar. We all run the ball similar. We're all different when we do it. And and I'll tell you, even Joe Mixon even looked at me and said, God damn. And that motherfucker admitted to me one day, because he's a big-ass dude, and I told him. I said, you know what? You're, you're, you're talented. I, I will never take that back from him, because he's a real-ass fucking guy. But he looked at me and he said, you got the swagger to you. I didn't like you when I seen you. And that's okay. He don't have to fucking like me when he sees me. But he told me specifically, you got the swagger to you. I like you. You, you do your shit. Because regardless of how small I was, I would still do the drills. I would still do all that shit. And I would have great footwork. I would have great technique. And I would do that shit right. And I don't give a fuck what no one said to me. I would never still give a fuck when no one said to me. I did that shit because I wanted to do that shit with my own will. If you play football because you want to play football to look good for these bitches, these stop playing football. Stop playing football. Go get your you get yourself some bitches, go to the club, smoke some dope, and have some good time. If you want to play football because you love football, go play that shit. Go fucking break your arm. Go do that shit. Don't fucking come back to me and say you broke your arm. And say you broke a fucking finger. Come back to me and, and let me know how bad you wanted that shit. Let me know how fucking bad you wanted that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to, I went through seven surgeries and my arm is basically robotic at this point. Robot tax, robot tax, robot quit. tax, robot tax, robot tax. I would never I would never sit down like fucking uh, uh whatever the fuck. Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, Brock. Uh. No, no, no. Whoever the fuck. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is a bitch. You don't would ever you, fight like that. Could you beat Ryan Garcia though? Because you're better than Joe Mix. We established that, but can't beat the shit out that bitch. So you say this, yes. And you don't ever ask me that shit again. Yeah. He's a got, bitch. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my fault. My fault. That's all right. It's all right. He's so, a bitch. How many, really how, many how many rounds? How many rounds were you last? How many? How many rounds would you last? Or would I mean, he last? Every, would he last? I was hurt. I broke my foot, bro. I broke my fingers. Oh. I would never step out of a fucking game. I got stabbed in a game. I didn't sit the fuck out. I said, bro, can you fucking heal me? They had me sent to the hospital. They called the ambulance. I didn't give a fuck. I have a. I have. I have literally confirmation. You can see my arm. There's stab wounds on my arm. If you. Go out. They said we could. We could set up your Ryan Stop Garcia. Playing sport. Stop playing the sport. Ryan Garcia is a bitch. I don't ever want to see someone hit the fucking canvas like that ever again. Kneel the fuck out. Who the fuck does that? I wouldn't ever do that. Never. I wouldn't ever do that. He's never. a fucking bitch. I would never see that shit again. That shit is some bitch shit. KD on the Suns is some bitch shit. He a bitch ever from, from since joining My, fucking uh, we, we have we have questions on how you got stabbed during a football game. If you could explain, people were the coach sure. stabbed me uh, during a football game. Uh, he cheated because someone was playing and I outplayed him. So can you go into depth on how he stabbed you? Like was it like he just ran up um, on you? Yeah, his keys out. And uh, at the very last second when they hiked the ball, he fucking lit up his fucking. Uh, he had a, a pocket knife, but it was like a, one of those ones you put in, like, it has a screw and all that shit. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. like the wine one. Yeah. He stabbed me with that shit, bro. And I fucking caught him. He got fired for that. And he also almost got sued, but I never sued him because I told him, I said, I'm not a snitch. And I said, you better find the right one. But I said, look, I don't give a fuck if your son is shit or he plays against me. I was literally 120 out playing his son of the line. And I said, you look at me in my face and say that you didn't do that shit right. He never said shit. And he resigned right there and then. Oh, my. And I don't right know what y'all do. Holy. Like, I have the scar. I have literally a keloid. A keloid is the way a, a, a scar scars. And, it, and most of the time, it's on black people. Somehow, I scar like that because I'm Mexican. Mexican scar like that, too. 
people need to know the shit you guys do to people every single fucking day makes them influence on shit you do. Mid games, mid game, day. mid game was it? Mid game, you said mid game. It don't matter, dog. No, I'm saying like mid game. Mid game. No, it was saying like it happened mid game. Oh, uh, when it stabbed me, yeah, yeah, he stabbed me right, right away. He stabbed me right away. Right away. I beat a son out on the line. After being 120, I beat a lot of people out. Y'all would never know. I was a, I was an actual edge rusher by uh, last year of Pop Warner. So we're talking like 15, actually, 16, that's 17. The, that's the year I started playing receiver and running back because I did not fall down. They were just tripping. They were like, this guy, is, he has something. So I started as a quarterback my high school year as a freshman. I was the best freshman out there, but they, they literally said I was playing like Mike Vick. Because I would literally go on scrambles and then throw the ball. I would never just throw the ball right where it's supposed to be. I would just scramble and throw the ball. I would even make audibles. Did you ever throw it? Know of. Did you just yeah, always I, run I did throw the ball. I actually had a thousand yards my freshman year. Oh my god! Throwing the ball. How many rushing? My hand. A thousand uh, passes. I, I had about five hundred yards rushing and a thousand yards. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred altogether. Yeah. They uh they actually put me against RG three, RG three went to our FBU his last year. It was right before he went to college. He went to college and graduated and played. And me and him were looked at the same because we played the same ball. I'm actually in real life. I'm a real better quarterback than I throw on the fucking game. I just wouldn't throw the way they throw on the game. But I was a, I was a really good quarterback. I broke my hand my first year as playing quarterback, and I stopped playing that. Other than that, I was named a Lamar Jackson status. And just named Lamar Jackson, LJ. Dude, Do you play RG three, Joe I Mixon? Uh, how many? Can, can we get a list of all the NFL players that you played with or played against? I never played against mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson. I what are you saying? Just say the. I played uh, Chris Carson. Uh, Nigel Harris and Joe Mixon, all of them. Chris Carson was actually hurt in his high school career. If you guys, I mean, you guys pretty much expect that probably. He was hurt uh, already in his high school career, but he was the best running back out of our draft class, even out of me. He just couldn't. Even out of you, no way. You're lying. What? No, Chris Carson was a. Uh, no. Number one. Wait, wait. wait how, 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 what happened to RG3? How did you play RG3? He was quarterback for us. He actually threw Joe Mixon such a hard ball, he flew out of bounds. Oh, my God. Um, was he Tim all right? Tim was there, too. Tim Tebow was there, too. Um, how, how you was know Tim who was our coach? You want to just guess who our coach was. Just give us a guess. Uh, John Harbaugh? No, nah, it was the it was the Emmett Smith. Uh, running back coach from his Super Bowl days. I was Emmitt Smith. And guess what? This motherfucker was so old he could barely talk. Jesus, why? Is, why the hell was he even out there? But he was a really good coach. I'll tell you this: he taught us shit we will never know from this day. Did you know if you put your fingers on your feet, you know when you stretch out? Yeah. If you do that shit for five minutes, it'll stretch your whole body out. That your blood will go to your fucking body. And to your legs, and it'll refresh you like a. It's crazy. It's a refresher. That sounds great. I'd like to do that uh, tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow, actually. Try it. You you will love it. Yeah, I'm gonna do you it before I get on stream tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna do it before I get on stream. I think. Me and him were looking at each other like, bro, I'm gonna beat you. We started dying. I thought you and Joe Mason always had beef, though. That's the way you always said it. You guys had beef. I hated him because I played for the team that, so Pop Warner, I played for the Falcons. In high school, I was supposed ATM. to play for the Falcons. He was supposed to play for Heritage. He, we, we switched teams. And uh, he ended up playing for Falcons. I played for Heritage. He was named Ron Rivers. Oh, yeah, Ron Rivers. Yeah, I heard of him. He's over there by the river. No, he's over there on Arizona. He had a good oh, yeah. Like coming off the bench, scoring the most points, scoring the most yards, that type shit. I don't think that's the thing. His dad, his dad was the best running back ever to play for, uh, or for the same state that Carr, David, Derek Carr played for. 
What's their name? The Bulldogs? Oh, yeah. Carnation. Or, no. No. Oh, but no. they played for the Bulldogs. The Sacramento Bulldogs. Oh, Derek Carr's from Sacramento? An hour away from where I, live. I got signed and recruited there for the first thing I got. You know where I wanted to go? Where'd you want to go? Give me a college and I'll tell you where I wanted to go. I'll tell you. Uh, University of Delaware. Nope. Um, they actually Penn, do drugs there. Penn State. Believe it or not. Nope. Kansas Ray, City Ray State. School, Kansas City State. F I'll just tell you, FSU. Okay. Why did you want to go there? Um, you wanted to be a Gator? You wanted to be a Gator? I wanted to be the next running back after Dalvin Cook. I was a great running back. I was, I caught the ball with one hand. I would run Ma it. Maxi said he's a little lost. Maxi said he's a little lost. He needs. I, I guess. wanted to play for FBU. I wanted to play for for FSU. Maxi, what are you lost on? What do you need help with? We we can fill you up on a story. Are you is the RC three part? Is it the uh, oh, is it the Emmett Smith or is it the Brazen? I only hit three of them. I'm gonna hit It's not gonna go away either. I just fucking shrugged. Oh my god, yo, keep the bar. Fucking put that pussy off his arm. Oh my god. Come on, man. Come here. Is that Robert Quinn? Oh my god. He got a sack. Terrible. Where's my cloud flag? Thank you, Asante. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't move. Right oh my god, Reggie White. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch the rest of this fourth thing. I know I'm about to see Gus the bus. <laughs> Robert Quinn has got two sacks this game. Everybody clap it up! Oh, Troy Vincent, you went away from the contact. Are you kidding me? Let's go, Eric Allen. Get your hands dirty, little man. Get your hands dirty. We're not tripping. That isn't Sante Sante. We're not worried. We're on that. Troy Vincent. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that'll do it. Keith Byers had more rushing yards than that game. Mike Vick had passing. That's how you know we did our job that game. Guys did their job.